Laura J, empowerment coach, spiritual teacher, writer of a book that is worth fully committing to reading, which is called Fully Committed, The Sacred Sojourn of Now. I don't say that because it's my book. I say it because it took five years to write that book in a month and then edit it in the, over the course of another month. And that process in and of itself was so expansive because I was bringing into completion an identity that I had, an entity feeding off of me to do, to see myself to be a writer compared to an author, to see myself as writing the book. I wasn't seeing myself as the writer. I wasn't seeing myself as the author. I was seeing myself as writing the book, which means that I would not allow myself to actually finish the book because my identity was vested in writing it. And once I wrote it, then what? What came after I wrote this book that took so much of my time, energy, effort, attention, and money? How much of my team I invested of my life into actually knowing what I know, meeting who I've met, befriending some of those. The bridge can be what we actually be when we start to see the Antikorana that's spoken of in one of the New Age movements channeled by someone. One man or woman channeled information that then was given an elevated status in order to make others buy the BS that much harder. Simple as. It's the same as if others made a Bible book out of my book, and then others took it to be truth simply because it's in the book that we have bought the bull of. Well, BS can either be bullshit or we can see it to be just simply belief systems, some of which are toxic. And if we have weeds within the mind, then we are going to experience a weedy garden in our lives. So instead, what if we just chose to align with the present now moment? What if we chose to clear the BS that previously made us feel separate, that previously made us feel not good enough, like we needed to slink in between bigger vehicles in order to not be seen for it would be dangerous if others knew we were there. I want to tell you a story and I want to give you a trigger warning. It was my awakening story. I call it my messy awakening. Now in retrospect, see and be seen. I saw things when I went through that experience. I had never in my life considered the Mental Health Act of threat until September 27th, 2019. It was a game-changing day for me because I went from being a privileged white girl from a good family with a great education. I have an English degree. I'm a certified coach, teacher, speaker with the John Maxwell team, founding partner, one of the first thousand. I have a soul realignment certificate as a practitioner on various levels within Andrea Hess's system. The Mood AQ rights, I've been gifted it twice. I can gift that, which are seeding the seeds of empowerment within the luminous light body. And Karina Cho and I are actually going to be connecting soon because she has a wealth of information to share about how to actually bring the sacred nature of life back into the now using sacred ceremony without the external input so that we don't have to then deal with something else in us as we try to connect with us. Let's learn to do it naturally. In April 2019, I went on a road trip out to Vegas, Utah, Arizona, California, and then I came back from Vegas alone, having left her with the group that we had connected with at the conference I paid for us to go to. And I'm a bit bitter 
from the perspective that the woman that claimed she could be a soul doula to help me rebirth myself naturally basically the soul doula did rebirth me but it wasn't by actually being with me that she did it it was by betraying me that she did and in Andrew Harvey and Carolyn Miss's uh, audio program soul, sacred contracts they talk about the powerful role of betrayal for we are all souls here acting as mirrors to one another's fears so that we can draw near to the fire and flame of our own heart 999 is on the license plate there 88 is in front of me it's the patterns are everywhere 44 just there 66 beside like I fucking cried one one right there oh fuck I would like someone to see the we are the mirrors to one another we can be the ones who uplift or depress the energies around us by how we show up and send love through our eyes to let others know we tried to be fully precise powerful and nice without being locked on a doormat is not what we came here to be so let's not let others take advantage of us which is what I feel was what happened to me I'm sure she may feel the same in her own way because victims tend to lay the blame they shame others which happened to they complain about what's happened to you and me too but only if you have problems just like me so then I can say we have a problem here and it's the Me Too movement we are a part of but I say it is time for us to flip the M upside down to make it the We Too movement where we can say we've all been fucked and now it's time for us to not take offense because I said the F-bomb did it really explode and what did it ignite in you and how am I being a mirror for you to see the truth that you have access to in your heart you have access to everything you need the key to the inner earth is through the heart it's time logos which we would see to be brands and banners planted on the pirate ships the corporations are where the corpse would all write rules through the people working on behalf of it in the name of the bylaws we are said to need to come fly with when that's a lie they are coming to ply the pressure to see if we'll collapse if we will snap if we will say okay let's just get it out of the way and carry on without a limb or two or however it injures you no liability well i say the ability to lie is no longer able to hide behind the lies that we've used to deceive ourselves to believe it's okay to be well adjusted to being in a toxic environment because don't be like the cooked frog that ultimately sat in the waters when it was only lukewarm and then as it boiled he got uncomfortable until he couldn't breathe or move and that's the end and so I say instead it's time for us to choose to take the power of the pen back and to say amen means all men and women must stand and if you want to see women to be whoa title of men then well hey wife of men hey what 
whatever we can all be men except we've got different parts because that's what we all must play in the stage of life we're all on here doing our own thing and right now you are watching me and i'm gonna sing because it's how i like to ring ding-a-ling vanishing i don't want to know how to speak spanish that's a lie i do i just needed to find the words as I put them together. String of consciousness. You can write this way if you don't even know what to say. You can simply start journaling and say, I don't know what to say, but hey, I'm here and I'd like to actually write so that I can unblock the artist within me. You see, can you be the one who let yourself be the one that no longer believed the BS of a sick cult you are part of. That's what the culturally accepted BS is. And when I went through my mad awakening, I tried to help others see what I had recently come into awareness of, and it didn't go well. I got deemed crazy and locked up for two and a half weeks. That changed everything and life as I knew it died. And then I was left to rebuild and then I also had no respect from those who saw that I'd disrespected myself and lost my reputation or ability to be taken seriously. But I wanted to change the lane right there simply because if I'm closer to the edge, then I am able to not travel as far is my reasoning. And then there were two big trucks that I went around and so it's perfect as it was. But here's the thing. this multiplex series about my awakening. Would you like to hear it in greater detail than I have ever shared before? I think you need the context of what came before. What do you think ambient music could be the way that we settle your nervous system to clean the lessons? From the experiences I went through and learned the hard way and came back to say here's what I found from what I felt and what you may feel is the feel felt found method in action in reverse. It's mentorship at its worst or best if that's what we want to compare things as but if we just say enough I'm gonna do my best to give you all that I got and I can remember that's how I become a member again of my past that I am leaving a cross at descansos is what marks the crosses on our path from all the times where we died because someone or something destroyed who we thought we were before and then we had to try to reinvent our identity. Oh, I've done that a few times. I'll share that too because all of it led to what? I'd consider better context with the trip that brought up the craziness of the magic of the moment. But instead, I'll say next time, if you like this video, and share with a few of your friends, maybe family, and if they judge you for me, well, here's to we, we too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Cheeky, cheeky, I know, but here's the score. Omerta is real. I turned into the pattern. I could feel it. What is Omerta? You'll find out. We're gonna get into it without a doubt. We're also 
going to talk about the imprisonment that we are in within our heads for the mental health system is a trap. It is designed to keep you out of your heart, which is the key to the inner earth, as I sang in the song that came before this one. So, this is my departure message to you to say, stay true to being you and let us be the ones who met us at the starting line fully committed to being ourselves authentically for we can do it best when we are ourselves peace